Welcome to iNani.com. C-Sharp.net Programming. Version 4.0. Level 2. Chapter 1, Part B. In this chapter, I am going to a get close up with .NET. Let us look at some of the features that it provides us. Object Orientation. .NET supports object-oriented programming with single implementation inheritance of classes, and includes encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. Encapsulation means that a group of related properties, methods, and other members are treated as a single unit or object. Inheritance describes the ability to create new classes based on an existing class. Polymorphism means that you can have multiple classes that can be used interchangeably, even though each class implements the same properties or methods in different ways. In addition to the above, it also brings in the idea of interfaces which provides a contract, forcing all the classes that implement a given interface to abide by the contract. The classes must implement the methods and properties that are specified by the interface, I am not going to get into more detail with this topic here. We have a complete chapter dedicated for this purpose. We shall look at OOPS, while working with C Sharp. Strong Data Typing Arguably, strong data typing is one of the best features of .NET. Unlike languages like Visual Basic 6, or scripting languages which uses variant data type, .NET specifies that all variables are clearly marked as being of a particular data type. It does not support the code that result in ambiguous data types. Though, some languages compatible with .NET, such as Visual Basic 2010, still allow some loosely typed data types. But when that code is compiled, the compilers, behind the scenes ensure, that the type safety is enforced, in the resulting intermediate language code. Also, managed C++, still allows pointers to be used, but then, the resulting code cannot get the benefits, like garbage collection, etc. Strong Typing versus Loose Typing A type system is set to feature strong typing, when it specifies, one or more restrictions, on how, Operations involving values of different data types can be intermixed. .NET, which supports strong typing, prevents the successful execution of an operation on arguments that have the different types. The opposite of strong typing, is loose, or weak typing. Weak typing, means that a language implicitly converts or casts data types when used. Consider an example. To demonstrate the weak typing using the variant data type. Var x equals 5. In the above statement, x is an integer. Var y equals 10. In the above statement, y is a string. x plus y. When we execute the above statement, the result differs between strong typed language and weak typed language. In a strong typed language, when we try to build the above code, it throws an error and we can find out the error and fix it appropriately. In a weakly typed language, the result of this operation is unclear. While in some languages, such as Visual Basic, the result would be 15. The system would convert the string 10 into the number 10. In other languages such as JavaScript, the result would be 510. In this case, system would convert the number 5 to the string 5 and then concatenate the two. In both VB and JavaScript, the resulting type is determined by rules that take both operands into consideration. In JavaScript, the order of the operands is not important and by using the plus operator on a string and a number results in a string, where y plus x would be 105. In some languages, the type of the resulting value, is determined, by the type of the leftmost operand, only. Looking at the scenario we saw in the previous slides, 
We can say that, using loose typing, will enable a user to write code faster, and makes it easier too. But, it also returns results that we can't easily predict, and may also result in getting errors at runtime. In a strong typed language, though it might require us to write a little bit more code, we can be sure of the result, and any type errors are caught while building rather than at runtime. I would prefer to go with strong typed language, and write more code, to get proper results, and sort out any errors at build time rather than at runtime. Also, in terms of performance, a loosely typed language needs to do more work trying to figure out how a data type should be interpreted, while for a strong type language this interpretation is not required, leading to improved performance. In .NET, which supports strong typing, the compiler catches all wrong data type errors, and it would take a programmer just few clicks to find and fix the errors. Using Visual Studio, we will get to know that there is a problem the type of problem, where it is, and a click is all it takes, to take you there so that you can fix it. Compare this with a loosely typed programming compiler, where you will have to run the application, when your application throws an error, get back to the code, make the change, compile and execute and continue with the process again. Type safety in C Sharp C# -sharp is primarily a strongly typed or type safe language, wherein data types can interact only through protocols they define, thereby ensuring type safety. For example, in C#, -sharp, you cannot interact with a string type as an integer type without type casting the same. In addition to the dynamic type safety enforced by .NET CLR at runtime, C# -sharp also supports static typing wherein, the language enforces type safety at compile time. Static typing eliminates a large class of errors before a program is even run, and thereby, taking away the burden from unit testing, onto the compiler, by verifying that all the types in a program fit together correctly. Static typing makes large programs a lot easier to manage, more predictable, and more robust. In Visual Studio, it allows tools such as IntelliSense to help you write a program easily, since it knows beforehand a given variable's type, and hence are the methods and properties it provides. Although, C# -sharp version 4.0 allows parts of your code to be dynamically typed via the new dynamic keyword, still C# -sharp remains a predominantly statically typed language. In the next video, I will continue with the topic language interoperability which is one of the highlights of .NET platform and how C# -sharp plays its role in language interoperability. If you have any questions or need more information on a part of this video, please use the forum at ignani.com. We will be happy to help you, you can find a lot of free video tutorials, training materials how to videos and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Check out the forum topic related to this tutorial on the site for all your questions.